Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be your November, oh shit. This is gonna be your November 18 and 19 reading for Scorpio, okay? That was the Nine of Swords and the Empress. So you could be worried about a Libra, a baby mother or a wife or someone that's pregnant or someone's worried about you. Or you're staying up at night thinking about this person or this Pisces or this psychic or whatever. All right, Scorpio, November 18 and 19 for Scorpio. November 18 and 19 for the Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. What's the messages for Scorpio? What's the messages for Scorpio? Okay, let's flip the magician. There we go. Okay, so we have manifesting here, Scorpio. Aries energy, you can have the Aries highly aspected or whatever. But we have Sagittarius here as well. Okay, the temperance in the world and the sun, Leo energy, hermit, Virgo energy. So it could be a Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius, or an Aries that you're dealing with or someone has that highly aspected. So we have the magician here. Yeah, and the empress is showing up again. So you're, you're manifesting pregnancy or you're manifesting an idea to birth to something or or um, fertility. Yeah, we have the emperor here. Now we have the emperor and the empress showing up with the magician. So, wow, again, the empress and right here is the emperor. So you're, ma so you're manifesting love, your true match, or you're doing love magic. I saw the lovers. You're trying to get someone to be in love with you or to love you or to want you or to see you as a match. Or this is what someone... It's trying to do to you, Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, judgment. But I would be careful. Yeah, you want somebody to reconcile or you want to see you want somebody to see you in a certain light, or this is what somebody else is wanting. Yeah, we have the knight of swords. Yeah, the magician knight of swords. So heavy, heavy, a lot of attacks here is what I'm feeling like. So you're, you're it's like you're impulsive. You want something to happen now. Manifest it now. Why can't it happen now? Yeah, we have judgment here. Okay, I would be very careful with what you're doing with that judgment. So it, it, whatever you're doing here, the higher ups are watching you. They're listening. They see every fucking thing you're doing. So if you're doing something, trying to force someone against their will, I don't know if that's the best thing. Yeah, we have the Empress. I definitely feel like someone's pregnant. It keeps showing up. Damn. Now we have the Emperor again. So I definitely feel like someone's doing spell work or they're attacking a, a, a married couple or this Emperor and this Empress. Someone's being judged here. So I feel like... Uh, we'll see what more cards come out, but I feel like with this Knight of Swords, it just ain't giving me the best energy. I feel like somebody's being aggressive in something. What's the Knight of Swords and the Magician? They're trying to get, yeah, someone's like, someone's going, like someone wants, yeah, the Knight of Wands and now the Knight of Cups. Somebody really wants your attention or they really want to talk to you, reconcile, reach out to you, or someone's trying to get you to reach out to them or something like that. What's the Emperor and the Empress? Yeah, the Will of Fortune. I feel like somebody's trying to change something. Or this is you, all right? Or somebody else or whatever the fuck this is. It's not going to work. Yeah, the Ten of Swords and the Devil in the Tower. I feel like, um, yeah, the five, ooh, yeah. This this doesn't look good. This looks like this is going to fall apart. Something's going to backfire, okay? With the Tower, I feel like something's going to blow up in your face. You're dealing with an Aries or a Libra, okay? Or, okay, heavy Aries or a Libra or a Capricorn or a Scorpio like yourself, 333, three, three, as I said that, so we'll read that card out of, the, out of the numerology deck, but I feel like somebody is trying to literally force a situation that's not going to be forced. You're trying to force someone to love you. You're trying to force someone to see something a certain way or be with you, or you're, you're trying to make something be the other death. Here you are, Scorpio. It's not. I feel like somebody's trying to cause a major change. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Someone's just jealous because you have a lot of options. It's like somebody wants to chain you to them. They want you to be with them or they want to impregnate you. No, it's not going to happen. There was Something's going to end abruptly or this spell work or this shit is broken. Every time you do this, the universe comes in and they break that shit. Ten of Swords, the devil in the tower or something blows up in your fucking face. Okay, or in their face or whoever the fuck face this is. Okay, yeah, we got the Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to just apologize. It's almost like somebody's trying to force will or force something to be a certain way. It's not going to. What's the Ten of Swords, Emperor and the Empress? Or if this is a marriage, I feel like there's a betrayal or a divorce or a breakup of the tower is here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, now somebody wants to apologize and give you what you want, give you money. Yeah, we have 444, as I said that. So 333444, give you money or give you this opportunity. Something, something, something has ended here, okay? Or something is, what's the tower? Yeah, this, this could be this could be something that happened in the past or something that's already happened. 
Okay? If it's not already happened, it's going to. So I feel like somebody got pregnant or married here. And I feel like something fell apart or, 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 or something like that. Yeah, this could have been something that definitely happened in the past already. What's the six of cups in the tower? And something blew up. Yeah, the justice. Yep. Libra energy. So I feel like somebody, yeah. I feel like this could possibly be a divorce or a same-sex relationship. Okay, possibly. We have the hermit here. Yeah, Virgo energy here. Aries, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn. So there's an opportunity. Yeah, there's a there's an apology on, or an opportunity. So someone betray you, possibly got married or got someone pregnant here. Scorpio, or this is you. All right, there was a, a betrayal or an abrupt ending here. Now somebody wants to come in and apologize. Something backfired. So somebody could have did something to get back at you or make you feel some kind of way, but something backfired. It, it didn't work out in their favor. You have the five of wands. Something turned out to be uh, an argument, a fight, or there, there was just a... Um, I, I don't know. Something just didn't work out in the way somebody was hoping that it would. What's the Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles? I feel like somebody wants a relationship here with you. They want to be with you now. Or someone's kind of having some kind of epiphany or, or, or something here. Okay? I feel like somebody really wants to, 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 to go back to things or to be with you or... But I, I, it's like, I don't know. Somebody's forcing it with magic and it's just not going to work. What is this? Yeah, the King of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like... um. So, somebody doesn't want to get yeah, a higher fight. So, somebody wants to commit to you, love you now. They want to be with you. They're in love now. Somebody doesn't want to do this anymore or something fell apart or they got karma in this situation or, or this argument, this fight or this bullshit that took place. Yeah, somebody wants to heal the situation here with you. Yeah, the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're because you're, yeah, you, you, somebody wants to heal something with you. You're not stuck. You're not trapped or somebody was trying to do this. It, it, it ain't happening. Eight of Swords, you're freeing yourself or someone's freeing themselves from a situation to come towards you. What's the higher font in the star card? Yeah, the four of wands. Okay, no, this is the eight of wands. Sorry. Yeah, so 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 you're progressing. Things are seem to be really working out for you here. I feel like someone's gonna email you or message you, or they are they. You could be in the public eye. Yeah, the six of pentacles in the palace of pentacles. So you're doing very well for yourself. Scorpio could be an Aquarius or a Taurus. Okay, with the hierophant here. What other signs that we have? Aries, Libra, Capricorn. Okay, it could be a. Uh, a Scorpio like yourself as well. Okay, we have heavy Libra with the justice, but I just feel like, yeah, you're doing well for yourself. You're not stuck or trapped. You're free. Somebody wants to apologize to you because you're doing well. Someone betrayed you, stabbed you in the back, did some more shit. What's the five of wands? I feel like something backfired. Somebody went towards the situation, 828, hoping that, you know, or, or thought it was going to be something it's not. I feel like somebody's under a lot of judgment here about a decision that they made. But with the judgment, that's a calling, an awakening, or being awakened to something. What's the five of wands? I feel, I saw the two of swords, so this that could definitely be a bad choice. Yeah, we have the uh, queen of wands in reverse. Wow. So the five of wands, queen of wands in reverse. So somebody very hateful, nasty, jealous, vindictive. I feel like this is the relationship or this is what somebody is in. Okay, or they, they got, yeah, the chariot in the reverse, the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Wow. And the uh, palace of cups in the reverse. So there seems to be no love. There's arguing and fighting. This queen of wands, queen of pentacles in the reverse could be the same person. Both of those cards are literally cards of someone who do, does wicked spell work. 919, when I said that, you could be dealing with a cancer because that number showed up in their reading too. Okay, but I feel like... um. I feel like definitely somebody here is in a situation where they do not trust motherfuckers. They don't trust this earth sign, this Capricorn possibly, or this fire sign. It could be a Leo, Sagittarius. It, it, they just don't trust or a cancer with the chariot card. Okay, or you don't trust these people, Scorpio. I feel like something karmically happened here. Yeah, somebody wants a family back or a relationship back or... 
somebody here, yeah, the Ace of Wands, yeah, Nine of Swords, but someone's worried that you're not attracted to them or that you, yeah, the High Priestess, Four of Swords, are you too initiate or are you too intelligent or are you too psychic? Yeah, the Seven of Wands, it's over. I'm getting you're not, yeah, you're going to block this person or they're going to block you. Yeah, the Lovers and the Three of Cups, because some, I mean, Ace of Cups, because somebody, somebody wants to reconcile here with you. Yeah, what's the Lover, what's the Seven of Wands? I'm getting you're blocking this person out. Yeah, the Death, it's over. This is you, Scorpio, it's over. You're like, no, it's over. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what somebody thought, or, or maybe you met somebody new, or this is this person you want to go towards. They met somebody new. Okay, yeah, someone's worried here that someone is having sex with someone else or they met somebody new. They did, they are, and it is. Yep, I confirmed, lovers, that's sex. Somebody has definitely found somebody new. They're having sex. Yep, there it is, Ace of Cups. That's new love. Okay, somebody has moved on, and I feel like it's over. All right, somebody did something hateful or they betrayed someone, stabbed them in the back, got married, had a child with somebody or ran off. I, I feel like somebody loves to abuse and try to hurt someone, but it just... It didn't work that way. What somebody did was go get themselves stuck and trapped in a situation now that they are miserable in. And now they're looking at you doing well. You're in the star. You're a star. You're progressing very quickly here. You're winning. You're respected. You're patronized. You're very, very abundant. Yeah. As soon as I said that, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, big money, a star, a millionaire, or you're going to be lots of opportunities. Ace of Swords, Cups, Wands, and Pentacles here. Somebody wants to start completely, completely over. Somebody doesn't even know how they let you go or, yeah, because you're nine of pentacles energy. You're, you're single, you're self-sufficient. You're also self-made. You have a very bright future here. This is something about what you do online or something that you do. Yeah, good choices. You're also chosen. Yeah, the sun card. Yeah, you're, you're destined for a beautiful life or this person is. It could be a Leo, an Aquarius, a Libra, an Air. It could be any damn body. But I feel like this is over. Somebody wants to come in now. Yeah, the four of ones. Somebody wants a relationship or now they want to make a better decision. Now they want to go towards you. Who's this queen of wine, queen of pentacles? But I feel like somebody's doing spell work to trap somebody or keep somebody in a marriage or to break them down or, yeah. Someone's not happy, four of cups. I feel like somebody has a lot of options here, but they're wicked. These, these queens in the reverse are wicked. Yep, the five of swords. Somebody's looking at you, they like, damn, I had the, the most valuable cup ever. All these cups in front of me, but I missed out on this great one. Being a clown or being stupid as fuck. Now somebody's reviewing their, yeah, because this is somebody that likes to drink or have sex or have multiple party parties. Now they're reviewing their actions like, damn, I, I have to be some kind of stupid, man. Yeah, because the table's turned on somebody, the will of fortune and the justice is here. Somebody's dealing with their karma and their choices, just period. Yeah, the seven of pentacles is here and the queen of swords. Yep. So let's see. Let's let's see what your cards were. You got um three three three, I think, and four four four. Four 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 is the card of protection. All right, something is heavily uh protected, or this person is. So well, whoever's doing spell work to try to whatever the fuck you're not. Okay. So let's see, 333, three, three, you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity, live your truths and be a positive light to others. I'm power, I am powerful. So someone's very powerful here. Someone's a spiritualist or a spiritual worker or whatever this is. You're not going to attack them, do spell work on them, do anything to them, or you're going to be dealt with. Period. And we have 444. Four, four. Trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at this present moment. I am protected. Someone's not only powerful, but they're protected as well. So you could come for them, but okay. So yeah, someone's regretful. They're sorry. They're apologetic. They, they made the wrong move. Let me give you money. Let me give you something. Um, somebody wants to get back in your good graces or this is you. But I feel like it's a no. Seven of Wands and the Death Zone's a liar. They're a hater. Five of Swords. They play mind games. They could be very abusive, narcissistic. And I mean abusive physically, spiritually, mentally, finance, in every fucking way. Somebody is low. And it's just not going to happen. So you can do all the spell work you want. You're going to be in, in, in years of poverty, years of sickness, years of some old shit. And this person is going to be protected by the heavens. The heavens conspire for them. They are chosen. They are a star seed. So, not, so you can do whatever. You're going to suffer. So those are your messages, Scorpio. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow.